Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. We are doing a chapter of labor costing. Okay, in your module it's called as employees cost. These MCQs are designed to make your concept stronger. So therefore in exams, at least there is one thing which you can be sure that you're going to be getting complete marks. MCQ is a great way to ensure that you're going to be passing. Our telegram ID is given below. Please join our group and channel so that you get the updates for costing and for FM. Uh, let's start it off. On YouTube, you will also be getting the playlist of each and every chapter. So once you finish up the chapter, ensure that you all complete the MCQs of that and comment in the uh, videos about the correct answer always. So therefore, that's your practice also that will be done. Okay, so let's start it off. Identify which of the following does not account for increasing labor productivity. Labor productivity means labor efficiency. So what does not account? Okay, what does not account? First, job satisfaction. Okay, B. This is a common sense question. Okay, motivating the workers. C. C in this case is uh, high labor turnover. Okay, and D is proper supervision and control. Think out of the four which makes maximum sense. In fact, forget if you have not done this chapter also. This is obvious answer. Come in below please after pausing the video. So, first of all, Job satisfaction. If you're satisfied with the job, obviously you'll be working far better. Your efficiency is going to be improving. B. Motivating workers. If there are people who motivate the workers, obviously their efficiency is going to be rising. Chuck the movie. Shah Rukh Khan tries to motivate all the girls who are there and due to that they win the World Cup. Although it is not fully a true story. Indian hockey team never won the World Cup. I think they all won the Asia Cup. Okay. C. C is high labor turnover. Now, labor turnover itself means that workers are leaving the organization. So, whenever the workers leave the organization, first of all, it does not increase labor productivity. In fact, it will decrease because once the old workers will go, new workers will come in, their efficiency will not be good, will not be as good as the experienced workers who left the organization. So, C, high labor turnover, as such should be the correct answer. But D, proper supervision and control. If there will be a good supervisor, he will be able to notice that workers are inefficient and he will try to tell them where you're going wrong. So therefore their efficiency might rise. Okay. So A, B and D are those factors that will improve the efficiency. Okay. C is that factor that will decrease the efficiency. In fact, this is one of the effects of labor turnover that productivity falls because the new workers come and their efficiency will not be as good as the current workers here. So answer should be C over here. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you.